everybody, Brian here on another review on smoking cigars on a budget. So I found a tool on Amazon that I really liked and I was really curious about it. So going through there, you see um, a lot of people talk about the perfect draw for an enhancing your cigar when it's really hard to draw out of. So I came up, or uh, I was looking through there and I was gonna buy the perfect draw, but I seen some other ones on there, you know, that are like 13, 14 bucks, and then I seen another one that was about $16. Uh, it was actually seven, just under 17 and so I'm, I was just curious about it um, because it had a drill bit on it. So I ordered it, came in the other day, kind of did it, an unboxing on it so you can see. So the box comes in this nice little carrying case. Now there was no directions that came with it, but on when you look on Amazon, they have a uh, little picture print kind of shows you kind of what to do which I mean that's not hard to figure out what these are but uh, you have nice gold metal uh, tops here two wooden nice cases to come out they come out so they do unscrew so this one is just a little piercer nice sharp point um, and then this is the one that I was really curious about because it looks like a drill bit. And I have had thought of ideas of I wonder if a drill bit would work good. But so I have used this a few times and just kind of wanted to do a quick little review on it. I am I'm really happy with it. Now I can't say anything about a perfect draw, but you do see a lot of reviews on it and that's really good if that's what you want to go I highly recommend spending the money but let's say you don't want to spend the money on that and you just kind of wanted something that works uh, for me this has been a great uh, product that I've bought so um, what you do so in on Amazon what it shows you to do is you take this and you take this in the middle and then you pierce it through a cigar and you just kind of slowly work it and then you'll feel some kind of resistance the problem I have with this tool is that when you're going in it's spreading the tobacco so if this is tightly rolled you know and you start pushing this if you're not very careful you can start pushing this and it could start cracking you know, so you got to be real careful and you also got to be careful that you're not going in at an angle because you could have your fingers right here and you can poke yourself. What I do see what this is good for is you don't have your cutter um, or uh, uh, your cutters. You can use this and just poke holes all through here. Or, let's say you're a person that don't like to have when it's tobacco in your mouth. You can cut them or put little holes in there and you can still get a draw. But doing that, maybe not. I thought I felt uh, a crack in there when I was inhaling it. So I hope not. But this works really well, and this, you can go in this end, let's say you have, let's say you feel a knot right here, and you can't loosen it up by just rolling it or massaging it. So you can take this, and you can go in there and, and just slowly, but we're gonna do it on this end. And this is another reason why I like cigars on a budget. And sorry if my head's a little tilted, I'm just, I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing here and going kind of straight, so. But you just kind of slowly, just like a drill bit, 
just go in there and then you just kind of you can twist it out I just pull it real slow and hopefully you can see some of that tobacco come out and then have a nice little hole in but of course right now I'm not going to get be able to tell because it's not lit. So this one is the Asylum Schizo. Um, it is a cheaper cigar. Um, it's going to be one, one of my bargain reviews here. It's going to be the one I smoke tonight. But what's also cool about this one, this tool, is you can use it as a nubber. So you can take this. Put it in there and now you have a number but i this one works it's really good especially if you like to smoke your numbers if you want to smoke them that far down you can smoke it you just works really good this way um once it starts getting too hot and heats up down here if you try if you go up this way it starts to spin but this one works the best you just take it and you can just slowly, like you did the other one, put it in there. And now this doesn't spin. So you can smoke it any way you want. Then I had an idea of, you know, what if I want to set it down or, you know, uh, done with it. But I don't, or, you know, I could put a magnet on my ashtray and then I could set it down. And I bet you it will sit there and I can have it sitting right there so if I want to sit down for a second and I don't want to put it out yet I can set it down there and then I can pick it up and it's not going to fall over you could still set it down but it's going to wait and it's probably going to have the weight and it goes on the ash and it's kind of not a good thing then I'll put it out but uh, like I said $16 or $17 on Amazon and why I say it's, this is on a budget is, let's say, you know, 17 compared to 30 for the perfect drop. And that's, you know, to somebody that's a couple of cigars. I mean, and if you want to do a factory smoke or even like the Asylum, this is like a $3 cigar online. Um, you can order two, two or three of those you know, so now you've got an enhancing tool, a nubber, and you can buy yourself a couple other cigars. So, that's kind of why. But uh, would I recommend buying these? Absolutely. Um, good quality. They're nice and heavy. Um, I forgot. So, these are four inches. Most cigars are just about six inches. So, as you can see, it's not going to go all the way down but you can go in both sides to try to create a tunnel so i hope you like this review um so another reason why i did the review is you don't see these online so i seen wanted to do it on this one for anybody that's curious and been thinking about buying one so but again like if you like the video please hit the thumbs up don't like it Hit the thumbs down and give, tell me what I did, what I can do better, or you know, uh, hope you would subscribe. I'm looking forward to this and I'm enjoying it, and just have a good day.